Buenas. Hello from Asturias, Spain. Today we'll make a seabed with tomatoes and peppers, according to my moon calendar. It's a good day to plant fruit plants, including tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant, so that's the kind of seabed we'll make today. I've changed the typical seed tray for one like this, for this kind of tray from a fruit or a fish market. It's made out of little styrofoam balls and I'm going to make the seabed here. It's a different way but it's still valid. All of them are valid. So we'll see step by step how to make the seabed for tomatoes, papers and eggplant. Before we start, we need to know the kind of seeds of the variety we want to plant the ones that work well in the organic garden. There are several varieties of tomatoes or peppers that they've been given to us or we just found them, but not all of them are good for our climate. I've made some holes in the bottom so it drains out and let's begin. Just like we did with the seabed for the aromatic plants. Now we have to mix a bit the dirt. We'll be using three handfuls of peat moss and a handful and a half of humus. Once we have the mix, I have added vermiculite to help the roots and preserve the humidity. Let's mix it all. This system has got an advantage compared with the traditional one, at least I think so. It's that the seabed, uh, I can use it for other seabeds in the future. Once the tomatoes are and peppers grow, we can remove them, put them in these coffee cups. I've got for that. They can grow the roots pretty much and then it's easy for me to take this to the organic garden. I do it like this so I can put many seeds in case some don't sprout and I will remove the ones I don't like or if they are too close together so I'll pick out as many plants as I need. Okay, I have already a scheme. I know my raised bed will take about 12 plants of tomato per row and I can put two rows in a raised bed, so that makes 24 plants. Same thing for the peppers, 12 per row. And here I have the varieties I'll be using. I'll include many padron peppers, which I like very much, the eggplant, and here I'll include some balls, balls or something like that, tomatoes, which are really, really big. For the seabed, it's very easy. We'll make small furrow with my finger. Not too deep, but not too shallow either. About a centimeter and a half, something like that. A little more than half an inch. We'll have them separated a bit, one from the other. In each row, we'll well, put the seeds we selected previously. In this first row I'll use seeds from my own organic garden from the previous year, so it's easier that, in, that it works fine in my own garden if the seeds come from the garden itself. And for the other half, we'll going to put the big tomatoes seeds. It doesn't matter if there are too many, I'll select them later. Let's put a tag in them. We'll mark the varieties and now we'll cover it with dirt again. Now let's make another furrow, about a couple of fingers away from the previous one. Here another variety of tomato and let's cover it. In this row it's going to be all Celtic pepper, which I like very much. I'll have many plants of those. Again, one, one and a half centimeters deep for the furrow and that's it. We'll put the tag, let's cover them. 
And here, the jewels of the crown, padron peppers. Well, some are very hot, others are not. They are just delicious. And well, here for a small organic garden, one family, this is more than enough. And in the last row, I'm going to put eggplant with the same system, the furrow. We cover them. And this is stick with the tag. And let's water them and in the following days also. The, the dirt needs to be a bit humid. They really require this, so it's easier for them to sprout, to germinate. I mean, you don't want dry soil. Put it in a place, more or less warm, and it will take maybe 10, 12 to 15 days to sprout. Okay, well, this is it. This is what I wanted to show to you today. The seabed for this kind of plant for tomatoes, peppers, and eggplant. And in another video, we'll make a seabed for cabbage, zucchini, and things like that, that we plant in the spring. So that's it, I'll see you in another video. <laughs>